Okay, so I am here with Jack, Adriel, Owen, Evan, Brennan. Jack and Adriel, you had this idea for this project for Miss Schifano's class. The project is based off of a mystery novel written by Agatha Christie. Yeah, and then there were none. And then there were none. Um, and so tell us a little bit about your idea. And then I got an idea. I was going to kill nine people on a place called Soldier Island. Or, or was it kind of like, like a poem? Uh, what was it? Poem? <laughs> a poem, a song. A poem, a song. Um, uh, it was, wasn't it like... You could create an alternate title. Yeah, alternate title. Or you could like a book cover. Okay. The songs that you chose to do a song, what song you know, did you have um, the idea in mind like almost immediately? Uh, I immediately thought of Murder on My Mind because well, it's kind of about <laughs> murder. So I figured that would work and all I had to do was change the lyrics around a little bit. And I kept the chorus in so people could understand what song was, but then I just changed up. So it's... A popular song right now, but you immediately, as soon as you heard that the assignment was to write a song, that song immediately popped in your head. So you guys found a pretty clever way, I think, to tie something in from 2019 to a book that was written in 1939. Um, so let's talk about like some of the lyrics. What was like the the writing process kind of like? How well, did you guys come up? Well, demonstrate all all of everything that happened in the novel, but it was kind of hard because you have to put like a. 200 something page novel into a four minute song. So that was difficult. It was but just like, I don't know, instinct and like common sense. Like I would, what I would do was I would pick out like words, like Adriel also, when we, he helped me with this a lot. When we were coming up with some of the lyrics, we just thought of words that would like actually flow, but at the same time they would actually like rhyme and make sense going like with the song. When all the guests showed up, they weren't even suspicious. So I put a CD into the gramophone, got all of the In the book, tri- there was this part of it where a gramophone went on with uh, like a creepy message and no one knew where it was, how it happened. And that's basically the main event that started everyone going crazy. In the song, uh, it's like that dramatic pause at the end. And I wanted a word that would actually like fit that dramatic pause. Uh-huh. Like you finish the word, and then you can you're able to pause. But a word like like traumatized that wouldn't really work because if you like listen the D at the end, you have to kind of hold that for a second. Uh-huh. But like ballistic, it's just a C, and then then it's done. And then that pause is a, like really affects the song because then it goes right to the, it goes right to the next verse, and then that verse goes right to the chorus. Uh, like you guys put a lot of thought effort into word choice and retelling the story and having it flow to the song um there's i think i think there's a lot to it a lot of creativity and a lot of hard work went into it in order to understand the song you have to actually not read the book but understand what the book is about because if you just like heard and then there were none you won't i like i think i thought of mystery when i first heard it but i didn't really think of like that much death and when you hear the song it, like it's about it's about people dying but you it would have to understand like what the entire book is about first to actually understand what the song is about otherwise you would just think it's five crazy kids talking about death yeah i definitely agree with jack like someone looks at this title and they they have the thought in their head like like is this appropriate what does this have to do with anything so you would definitely have to understand what the book is about to understand the thought process of this. I wake up in the morning, I got murder on my mind. Five little soldier boys left to kill, yeah, and Mrs. Brent, you were-